What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at two pairs of jeans I picked up at the Polo Ralph Lauren factory outlet store at my local outlet mall for $125 and $85 respectively. Here in front of us today we have the Sullivan Slim Stretch Jean. This pair cost $125 and gets 85 favorites. You can find this in lengths 30, 32, 34, and in a waist size between 28 and 40. And last but not least, we have the Varric Slim Straight Jean for $89.50. This gets 31 favorites and can be had in lengths 30, 32, and 34. And last but not least, waist sizes between 28 and 42. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions. I'm basically going to show you around each pair. They are different names, but they are both slim stretch jeans. So they are a denim material mixed with a stretchable, expandable cotton. I did try them both on at the store to make sure that they fit. Originally, this would have run about $200, but I picked up both pair for about $170. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this first impressions. I'm basically going to show you around each pair and then stick around till the end of the video so you can see what they look like on me so you can get a good idea of what they might look like on you. So here in front of us today, we have the Solvent Slim Stretch Jean and the Varric Slim Straight Stretch Jean. Yes, a bit of a mouthful, but both jeans are exactly the same. Uh, you can actually tell they are exactly the same by the design of the stitching on the back pocket of each. The back pockets are also very similarly designed. They're similar size, uh, depth, and width. Uh, the only difference here is the Varric is all black, as where the Sullivan is a more traditional blue with yellow stitching style. Both are slim stretch jeans, so don't let the title of each pair get you thrown off. They are pretty much the same exact jean. Uh, I did pick them up in a 36-32. When you do go to the polo, factory outlet store, there are changing rooms. So definitely try on a pair or a few pair to see how they fit you. I pretty much tried these two on and another pair. Immediately when I put these on, I knew they were what I wanted because they just fit so well. They were the style I was looking for. I was only looking to buy two pairs of jeans, one blue, one black. So this is what I ended up coming out with. Original Ralph Lauren quality, authentic denim goods. This actually might acquire a little bit of a patina over time. It is a nice soft leather that will scratch and that will wear pretty nicely. But as you can see, it's actually a beautiful shade of leather. It actually matches perfectly with this yellow stitching or should I say it contrasts with this yellow stitching. Uh, I've got an iPhone SE 2020 here. This back pocket you can pretty much guarantee is good for a wallet or a cell phone. The waist area or around the crotch or up by the thighs is just a little bit wider, but actually what gives the jean its support are the slim fit through the leg. So uh, what they are advertising is that this will sit below the waist. And even though that might seem a little bit uncomfortable at first, it might feel like they're falling off. The legs are thin and they will basically hold the rest of the jean up on your waist. You can see this zipper is a pretty nice quality. It zips and unzips confidently and smoothly. Uh, that same yellow stitching goes down to the crotch. It's very seamless. Uh, no threads pulling whatsoever. Uh, as you can see here, where the stitching does go all the way down to the bottom of the leg is from underneath the crotch here all the way down to pretty much the ankle. You get this beautiful blue wash look. There's some interesting dyeing here going on, which I think gives this jean a lot of character. These are not your typical pair of jeans. Uh, what's really nice is up here at the quadricep, you'll actually get a sort of washed out look. Uh, you do get some more dyeing, but this time the dyeing is actually horizontal and the lines are more parallel. Everything should pretty much wear just absolutely phenomenally well with these jeans. Uh, if you actually unzip the zipper here, you can see the inside of the jean here. You get uh, a tag letting you know how best to treat these. And you get a pretty good idea of the material of the pockets themselves. Storing things in these pockets 
Uh, you won't really have a problem with, say, keys or cell phones rubbing up against your thigh and being uncomfortable. These should actually be really nice. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is on the inside of the pocket here, you do get a really cool graphic. This is sort of an Easter egg, I would say. Uh, it does say Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, as you can see here, it also is a little bit of denim. So it looks like they maybe did half the pocket denim, half the pocket that sort of knapsack material. But one thing I wanted to point out was it is not the same color as the denim itself. So yeah, that might acquire a couple of stains here and there, but you can pretty much see that that same quality makes its way around to the back of the jean here. Also, what I wanted to point out actually is these belt loops are a very generous width. You should pretty much be able to get any size belt through these belt loops here. And last but not least are the Varic Slim Straight Stretch Jeans. Yes, a bit of a mouthful, but what I love about this jean is it is all black. So it has all of the features of the Sullivan Slim Stretch Jean, but this time everything is pretty much matching black and pretty much disguised for a stealthy, youthful, stylish look. Uh, as you can see here, you do get that beautiful uh, Ralph Lauren logo at the top in leather here, stitched down nicely. You'll also notice that you get some black deviated stitching on the belt loops here. What I really like about the belt loops is they are an extremely nice width, just like on the Sullivan jean. Uh, as you can see here, I pull the pocket out of the pant and it is black to basically match, but this logo is just a little bit different. It's a little bit more oriented towards someone who is more of a maverick or a rule breaker, I think. I've pretty much showed you some of the interesting characteristics of each. The Sullivan, for example, have some interesting dye lines on the front of the leg and the back of the leg to give them some characteristic. The Varric, on the other hand, are completely black. The dye is basically jet black, which will give you a slim and trim profile regardless. Uh, both, like I said, do fit pretty much exactly the same. They are a 36-32 slim stretch denim material. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these on and I will tell you what I like about them and what I dislike about them. Okay guys, so I took you through the first impressions. I showed you the differences between each pair, the benefits, the negatives. Let's go ahead and try them on. I actually already beat you to the point. I have the Varric Slim Stretch Jean put on first. That is the black denim pair. So far what I can say is they do sit a little bit below the waist, just as advertised. But like I was saying earlier, where they get their support is in the legs. They're actually really tight around the legs, not tight to the point that they are strangling my legs, but just tight that they can keep the waist up from falling down. What I do want to point out here is if you do buy a pair of jeans that fit you right, that are your size, you shouldn't have to buy a belt to wear them with. Uh, you can actually wear them without a belt and they should fit just fine. So you can see here, they are extremely comfortable around the legs here really am enjoying these. Let's go ahead and just get a pretty good shot there. Actually really digging the way that these look and feel. I've got them with just a plain t-shirt on here, for example. I think a tight t-shirt actually looks best on these because uh, these are slim fit to begin with, right? It sits just above the waist, this t-shirt, which I think really shows off the nice form-fitting aspect of these jeans like around the buttocks, for example, in the thighs, in the waist. Yeah, these look really sharp. I am actually super pleased with these jeans. Uh, as you can see, they do give me a slim trim look, but you know, because they are black, you can pretty much dress them up casually to run errands in. You can wear these with some sneakers. You can wear them with a pair of sandals. I think these look great. As you can see, I don't have a belt in the loop, but uh, like I said before, if you do get them in the size that fits you the best, you shouldn't really have to worry about the belt. Uh, like I did say, these do sit a little bit below the waist here, just as advertised, but the legs of the pants in the thighs and down by the ankles are tight enough that it does support the top half of the jean, the waist, the thigh, and in the crotch. So yeah, really sharp looking jean. Let's go ahead and try on the Sullivan Slim Stretch Jean. As you can see, they slide in just perfectly well there. 
So you can see they are just a little bit contorted there, but you just gotta move them around a little bit. I think the blue pair actually give you a better idea of how slim they are around the leg, how they sort of grab the ankle, so to speak. I would say that these Sullivan are actually a bit slimmer and a little bit tighter than the Varric, but yeah, these are absolutely phenomenal. They're really comfortable. I mean, the black Varric pair, I think may actually be a different material. I'll have to look into it. These just feel a little bit softer. The Varric feel a little bit more coarse. Both are comfortable, but as you can see, this is just an awesome look. It's super casual. Uh, this is a look that you can pretty much get away with no matter who you're around, right? Uh, no one's going to say, wow, those blue jeans look awful on you. Uh, if someone said that, they, these would have to be really cheap jeans. But as you can see here, just a plain t-shirt. Like I said, you really want to go with a form-fitting, tight-fitting t-shirt to really give you the best look, I think. Uh, honestly, I feel a little bit more confident in the blue jeans. Uh, black jeans are new to me. I've never had a pair of black jeans before. Uh, as you can see, the front of the pant, you get those really cool striations, these really cool die lines here. Definitely give it some character. And then you get that washed out look in the thigh here. And then towards the bottom of the leg there, you do get again some more of those really cool die marks. And if you actually just look at the back of the jean here, you can pretty much see those die marks on the uh, calf, which is really cool. It gives these really a lot of character. Like I said, you can pretty much wear blue jeans with anything. They are so casual and just so good looking. I mean, you can dress these up, you can dress them down. Like I said, definitely go with a slim fit t-shirt on top of these. You can even go with a baggy t-shirt, honestly. Really doesn't matter, but yeah, these look great super happy with them anyways guys that has been a first impressions of the sullivan slim fit stretch jean and the varic slim fit stretch jean i picked up at my polo factory outlet store at my local outlet mall today i showed you around each jean i showed you the design aspects of each uh, how each fit the sullivan slim fit stretch jean did cost 125 dollars the varic slim fit stretch jean the black pair they were a little bit less expensive at $85. It did say at the beginning of the video, both at the store were $98.50. Uh, with my 15% off coupon, I did end up paying about $170 for both pair. I think that's well worth it. I can change them up. I can wear them, you know, dressed up, dressed down if I want to wear a black pair. Or if one pair is dirty and I have to wash it, I can just dress up the other pair or dress down the other pair. Definitely well worth the money uh, having two different style of jeans. Both that fit exactly the same make it just really convenient and really awesome to have. Anyways guys, yeah, you cannot go wrong with jeans. They are a staple uh, American style. You pretty much should have a pair of each color in your uh, dresser. I, for now on, will do the same. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed that first impressions. Both jeans fit exceptionally how they are advertised as fitting. They do sit below the waist, but because they are tight in the leg and uh, at the bottom of the leg and around the ankle, they do provide enough support so that they are not falling down. Uh, with that being said, guys, this has been a first impressions. I absolutely adore each pair. Anyways, guys, because I picked these up at the Polo Ralph Lauren factory outlet store, a department store that does make them a big box good. My name is John. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.